And right now it is so important that we recommit ourselves to this mitigation as we now begin to turn the corner with the vaccine. But the reality is December and January and February are going to be rough times. I actually believe they're going to be the most difficult time in the public health history of this nation. A sobering warning tonight from CDC Director Dr. Robert Redfield. He says now is the time that we all have to recommit to mitigation efforts. Redfield adds that the rising infections will put increased stress on our health care system. CBS 4's Ty Russell joins us now with more on the concern about hospitalizations here in South Florida. Ty. And Lauren and Elliot, you guys know best. We've been studying these numbers for months now. Right now, this week, we are seeing more than 100 new people in Miami-Dade being told that they must stay in the hospital to battle COVID-19. And with rising infection rates and the holidays coming up, we talked to one local leader who says the time is definitely now to protect yourself. The rate of coronavirus infections in South Florida continues to increase. In Miami-Dade, the two-week average for new cases is now 8.35 percent. In Broward, it's 7.02. Can our hospital capacity cope with 8 percent? Yes, it can. 8 percent positivity. Can our hospital uh, capacity cope with 25 percent? Positivity? Absolutely not. Broward Mayor Steve Geller knows as cases increase, there's a concern the number of new patients in hospitals will follow. In Broward, today's dashboard shows about 450 COVID-19 patients. 20% of the non-ICU beds are still available. In Miami-Dade, the latest data from Tuesday showed about 30% of beds still available and about 800 people are in the hospital. And because of Thanksgiving and other upcoming holidays, the mayor of Broward is concerned. I'm afraid that between the Thanksgiving holidays and the other Christmas parties and Christmas and New Year's, that by January 10th, our number will be back into double digits. The Broward mayor admits infection and hospital rates are down from the June high, but he wants to protect business, frontline workers, and families, especially since it's likely a vaccine is on the way. So he's asking you to do your part. Even if they don't care about wearing a mask to protect themselves, be patriotic. Do the right thing. Protect your family. Protect your parents and grandparents. Tonight, we also heard from spokespeople with Baptist Hospital. They said that they still have room as well to accept COVID-19 patients. But, of course, no one wants to see more people go to the hospital to battle this virus. Now, when it comes to the mayor for Broward, he also told us he wants business owners to make sure that their customers are protected. And if they have an issue with a customer following the rules, like wearing facial coverings, he says call 311 or law enforcement for help. He does not want them getting involved in anything that's wrong and bad that I end up in a fight. But for now, we are live in downtown Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.